Okay. Uh, this will, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've posted anything on this channel. Uh, generally, I don't have any stuff that I would consider unpopular electronics until today. And today is we have a GE under counter cassette AM FM radio and one of the problems with it is that see it uh, it's probably not even the uh, display is fading. That's not the main problem with it. The main problem is the cassette deck isn't working because it needs a couple of belts and I've had a couple of belts on order now for two or three weeks. Um, but in the meantime what I'm going to be doing is uh, replacing the display with And I have lost it all. Oh, there it is. I'm going to be replacing the display with this little um, LED clock. Uh, this isn't as simple as it sounds. This is a vacuum fluorescent display, and it comes with its own little board. And then to make things more difficult, the board is has a s switches power to the whole unit. Come on. This next piece written by a man who's known during his So in order to basically I'm gonna disable this clock and I'm going to put the other clock in. Uh, the fun part about all this is that the uh, I want to power down the vacuum fluorescent display so it's not running unnecessarily. And in order to do that, it took me a while to figure this out. Um, okay, I, I had to completely reverse everything I did. Uh, when I took this chip out of the circuit, uh, s something in here started oscillating and there was a loud beeping noise that came out of the, just a, a constant uh, tone that came out of the uh, speaker. So, what I'm going to do is just going to take, I've already done some work here, and I've connected the uh, <clears throat> connected up on the bottom here to this capacitor. I've connected two wires and this is giving me about 15 volts. I'm running that through a 390 ohm resistor which is dropping it down to around 7 or 8 volts which the uh, tiny little voltage regulator on here can handle. And so now this powered on. It works. What I'm going to end up doing is mounting it in here. Uh, before I do that though, I have to connect a couple of uh, switches to these tiny little switches here. And that's some pretty tedious work. 
and then those switches will run to somewhere on the back of this so that I can set it without opening this up. And I was going to videotape that, but I don't think anyone really want to, wants to watch me tediously solder tiny wires to that. But what I'm going to do is use this four connector wire that I've got. It's a really tiny wire. And I'm going to hook up these two tiny little switches. And later on those will be installed when I get the rest of the stuff and I get ready to put it together. So, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, that was a lot of tedious work, and I, that's why I didn't videotape it, or tape it, or whatever. Um, basically, what I did was I attached very fine wires to these two buttons and then uh, those buttons are now controlled by these buttons and if I press this one it shows the voltage the time date temperature voltage blah 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 and the set button works so now all I gotta do is get the, the rest of the parts um, I need to get the uh, cassette tape belts and worry about attaching this to that. So, when those parts come in, this video will resume. <laughs> 